Good day, citizens. It is 1031, 2021. It's 425 a.m. in the morning on a Sunday. Um, today, I'm going to jump into Decentraland again. And we're just going to go ahead and click Start Exploring off the main website. We'll let it load into my, my account. Let me turn that off. And today, I'm going to show you Wondermine. And a lot of people... I was on here yesterday and a lot of people were asking me how to do this, how to do that, what was going on. And uh, I figure I'll jump in here and I'll explain this. So if you log in for the first time, you'll be like, oh, so that makes sense. Um, we talked about yesterday, the keys to move around are like your arrow keys. Um, there's also a tab on the bottom right where we hop in here and I'll show you, you can find the controls. So if you don't know what you're doing, you can click that and you can figure out how to move around. Uh, but here we are. This is where you usually enter. This is the portal. You can press the enter button to allow you to move your mouse. You can click this over here. And as you can see, there is a uh, little menu here. And if you don't know the controls, you can click controls and it will show you the controls. I already know the controls, so we're not going to spend too much time on that. But as we're moving around here, I see a lot of you... Uh, you got usually got the event menus up here and you can use E and F to scroll. Uh, it tells you how many players are in there and all that good stuff. If you just want to jump into the world, you can literally just jump in this, this portal here and you'll get right to it. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to Wondermine. We're going to click it. It shows us the coordinates. We click jump in and then we'll just click jump in again and that uh, it will load. So... What is Wondermine? Uh, Wondermine is kind of like a a mini game or a game inside of Decentraland. It's something that you can do every day, and as you do it, you uh you have the chance to pretty much craft some NFTs. And here's we're gonna go over a couple things here. Uh, if you press I, well that will bring you to your inventory. But if you hit, uh, I think it's B. No, not B. Sorry about that. Anyways, if you click enter and you click your bag, you'll see here that there's resources that you collect. You'll usually start with a, a free axe. And that axe uh, you can use, I think, up to 100 times in the beginning. And you'll see down here there's a mining bonus. As you level up and you collect more resources, you create stronger axes. You get more of a mining bonus. Um now while while you're doing that um you collect these resources here from these meteors that fall and to mine the meteor all you have to do is run up to it and click mine just click on your mouse click on the meteor and you will start mining and when you see the items inside of the meteor will eventually show they are automatically harvested you don't have to click them or anything they should automatically go into your inventory and you can see we got an emerald a copper and a wonder gem and we'll click out of that and that that goes right into our inventory now these meteors they fall pretty frequent and i do believe they are instanced to your character so all these other people i don't think they can see your uh meteor it's uh like instance to you you can see all of them but i don't think they can see your meteor and then Tons of people log in here every day and mine. Something to be advised about if you're watching the coin counter in my inventory, every time you mine, you spend five of these coins. You start out usually every day with 100 coins, okay? Uh, if you run out of coins, you can come over here to this coin cart and you can essentially buy more coins with mana, but, uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I wouldn't do that unless there's a crafting event going on. And you can usually find out if you come over here to these robots. You can go to their Twitter or you can go to their Discord. And in there, these guys will tell you when they are having events. And that that might be a time where you might want to uh, mine more than and than the coins you're allotted per day and actually do a lot more mining. But here is a crafting machine, and a lot of people were asking about this, like. How do I repair my axe? Where do I go to use these materials? And it's real simple. We come over here and 
you can see that this machine here, you press these little arrows and you can change the screen here and it tells you what resources are needed to make the next item. And you can see, as you can see here that this is to make to make to make the bronze pickaxe. You would uh you would need these items, and it would give you 10% more efficiency. Uh, if you want to make the iron and such, and then you you continuously upgrade your axe, your pickaxe for more mining, and then eventually you get to a a part here where you can make this this amazing looking pickaxe where you'll get lots of materials and you can start crafting these glow metals and items that you will need these crafting materials out of the min the minerals that you get for making these uh coins and then once you get these coins you need these coins and other resources and you can actually start making wearable nfts okay uh these nfts go for a couple couple hundred to thousands of mana and you can see the requirements here we'll keep scrolling you have shoes the mask them ears you got this helmet here <clears throat> you have these pants this shirt there's a hat there's goggles kind of looks steampunkish boots all the all this right here right you can craft all this by mining every day and then you also have this right here where you can it, let's say your axe breaks and you don't want to waste your materials on a new axe. You can always repair your axe, okay? And you see it has a coin cost. When you want to mint an item or you want to do this, you see how this lever here is green? You can click this lever, and I don't need to do it because if you look on my axe here, it says 73 where my mouse is. My axe doesn't need repaired yet. When that gets down to zero, I will need to come here. I will need to take... 15 of my wonder coins come to this menu and then click this lever and then it will process process that automatically on the polygon network and it will show up here you should not need to click it it should be automatic because you are signed into the game via your blockchain wallet okay now i hope that explains some of this to you guys uh about how to craft things and like what all the resources are used for and I can see personally myself I'm going to need to get some of these wonder coins so or uh, these uh, coins right here with the purple and the W so I'm going to scroll back over and I'm going to see how much they cost and I see here I need to make some of this metal and some of this uh, cloth or blue fabric and I can see that I can make one blue fabric because I have 20 of the uh, blue gems um, let me scroll back or I can make, let's see, 10, 20, 7, 15, 10. I can make a couple of these glow metals. Uh, let's see if any of these pickaxes take the glow metal. They do not. So what I'm going to do here, just to show you a little bit of the crafting, we see my inventory here where it says zero. I'm going to actually craft one of these in real time so you understand how the crafting works. I see that all this is green. When it is green lit up here, it means that I have those items. Uh, you can guys can see here that this, this is not green. I don't have the required items to make that. But I do here, and it also gives you the prompt here to push the lever. So you see here the zero. We're going to go ahead. We're going to push the lever. And just like that, it initiates it. And you guys can already see here that fast and that automatic that went right to my inventory automatically i don't need to click nothing or do anything i can click it to make it go away but it was instant and went right to my inventory and just because we know we're going to need this later on to craft something i'm actually going to craft another one and you guys can see once more it was automatic and it instantly went to my inventory now that did take some of my coins so today I'm not going to be able to mine as much as I will but the next day when I come back in I will start with a hundred coins again and this explains it to you right here that every time you uh you log in you need five wonder coins to mine you get 100 coins free every day and if you run out you can come up to this coin cart that I showed you guys and you can buy more coins with mana now it, that's pretty much the gist of this it's a it's just a little mini game inside of decentraland 
Now to change your view, if you didn't see my video yesterday, all you do is you press the V key and that is your uh, your view key. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna continue mining these rocks or these meteors and um, pretty much just collect some more resources for the rest of the day. If you didn't watch my video yesterday, you might come in here and you might, uh, you might your screen might look a little different. It might look like this, right? If you wish to change the, the the daytime or the nighttime or whatever you're on into the opposite, you just click these little three dots here, and you can click night mode. You can come back down here. You can change this over and over again. Uh, there's no no big deal. Um, another tip and trick that I went over this yesterday, but let's say I'm running around here and I see somebody that I want to be friends with. I can come up to them. I can click them. I can click their uh, passport and I can click add friend or I can even see what items they hold in their inventory clothing wise or if I don't like this person he's spamming and he's doing ignorant things in chat I can come up and click block or inside of the chat itself I can click their name usually you right click their name you can hit add friend passport block or report and that's how you can uh you can deal with people especially if you got spammers another thing I went over this yesterday but I'm gonna go over it again you can press M and then go to anywhere on the map and it will give you a prompt to jump in you can press M again to get out of it but let's say uh, you're running around here and your friend tried to log in with you and you're like hey man I don't see my friend you look up top here where it says realm they might be in a different realm, okay? Usually, I like Realm Loki. And I'm going to go ahead and re-log re in for Realm Loki. Uh, because I just think it has more people. And I know most of my friends specifically play on that realm. So, if you're logging in and you don't see your friend, he might be in Realm Loki or another realm. All you have to do is get that information from him. Cut and paste it into the realm ID. And you will then be in the same realm with your friend. Think of it as like joining uh, the same servers in a game. Uh, if you're in different worlds, you guys can't see each other. But if you know what world you're in, you don't have to pay for a character transfer. It's automatic. You just cut and paste the, the address and boom, there you go. I hope this uh, video is being inform informative to you guys. I hope it becomes educational. And I hope it answers some of your questions about Wondermine here. If you have more questions uh please please come to the discord channel here please check the twitter and please uh interact with those people and as you can see there's a lot more people here in realm loki like i was telling you guys uh lots of lots of people play in this realm specifically uh you can see there's there's people here that have tons of custom clothing um i'm gonna end this video here guys if you guys uh Got any constructive criticism or questions, feel free to leave them below in my video and I'll try to answer them. If not, you can always try to add me on Decentraland if you see me running around. I am the Crypto Tengu and I will catch you guys next time. Stay blessed.